Hello everyone and welcome back to Suikoden 2. In the last episode, our fort was terribly ravaged by Luca Blight. Everyone had to escape. I hope everyone made it out okay. They said to go to Muse, it would be the only place we'd be safe. And as you saw in the last episode, you get tacked with a random party. Because of the random party, something I suggest you do that I did off screen is go ahead and level everyone in your party to at least level 10. That will help you later on, as you can see everyone's pretty much there. Um, and go ahead and go to Coronet and sharpen everyone's weapons to the highest level right now, which is level 5. There's no armory, unfortunately, so do your best. That's what I did off screen. Let's go to Muse. Hopefully we'll see everyone there. Alright, Victor said we'd be safe here. I just want a place to rest. We're trying to get in there, dude. We were told to come here. We're friends of Victor, the mercenary leader. We told him we'd meet up here. Let us in. Uh, just want to also say that how did everyone think Joey was a girl? Really? What's wrong with you guys? Clearly he looks like a boy. He has a ponytail, but what? So what? What? <laughs> so many people thought he was a girl. I was very surprised. Sorry, but no one comes in without an entry permit. We have to watch out for Highland spies. Oh, great. Why didn't Victor tell him we were coming? Hey, are you calling us spies? Come on, let's not lose our tempers. Leave it to Nanami. Oh no, what's she gonna do? Man, too bad Rena's not here. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh no, she's gonna try the same thing. Listen, we have to meet an old grump named Victor. Come on, just let us in, okay? Don't be ridiculous. Now buzz off, little pug nose. Um, sir? <laughs> You're probably gonna get your ass kicked now. What? What did you just call me? I called you pug nose shrimp. Now buzz off. Oh no. Sh shrimp? Say that again and you'll be sorry. Shut up, you frog faced whiny little tomboy. Oh, so oh boy. <laughs> Too bad Rena isn't here for real. Poor Nanami. Frog faced whiny tomboy? Ugh! I'll rip your lips off! Your history! What? <laughs> God, everyone's gonna hold her! Wait! Nanami, stop! Let me go! I'll kill him! Come on! Stay out of my way! It won't help to yell at the guard, and it's not as if we're part of Victor's army. The guard has no reason to believe us. I guess that's true. But we can't just give up. We've got to find another way. <laughs> oh god. Pretty sure that scene is, is basically the same no matter who you have with you, because Nanami is always the one that starts it. We don't have the circus troop with us anymore, so sadly, we can't use that method to get in. What do we do? Well... It's hard to notice, but you may have noticed there's a little kind of building right here in the forest. Let's check that out. Ooh, the White Deer Inn. Aw, oh, this looks peaceful. Let's give it a go. Hello, welcome to the White Deer Inn. The beds are clean and breakfast is included. You picked a strange place to open an inn, didn't you? Jesus, Nanami, kind of rude today. What, what's going on there? You need, you need a little mite all there? You know, tampon maybe? You could do it okay. All right. <laughs> well, um, maybe. But you'd be surprised how many people stay here. Well, shall I show you to your room? Uh, we didn't really say we needed a room. We kind of just walked in. It's a little presumptuous of you, ma'am. Hey, Hilda, Hilda. What, what, what are you so excited about? I did it, Hilda. Be happy. I finally found the way to the treasure. It was just like I thought. I knew there was something funny about those ruins. What? You should be happier. We can finally say goodbye to this failure of an inn. Oh, man. Why is everyone busted on this poor woman's inn? What? Wait a minute, Alex. I've got to get some help. It's dangerous in there. Well, I bet I can find some city people to help me out. I'll find you a jewel so big you won't even be able to carry it. We're gonna be rich, Hilda! Uh... Alex, please. Don't do anything dangerous. The treasure's probably just a rumor. 
please. I don't want you to... What are you talking about, Hilda? I'm doing this for you. Anyway, I'm gonna find some people to help. That man... Oh, excuse me. That's okay. Was that your husband? What, Joey? Jesus, you looking at kind of, you know, in, in, in there? A little milf action there? Jo I should be more serious, but I can't! Yes, he's obsessed with treasure hunting. I don't know what to do. Well, shall I show you to your room? Okay. You got a room big enough for all of us? This failure party that we've got going on? Okay, this party won't be so bad. It, I just complained a little. Because, you know, I can. I love this song. This is Nanami's theme. And it's really good. Ah, I've slept well. We've been camping out for so long. <laughs> the boys are still sleeping. What? What are you doing, ma'am? <laughs> That's inappropriate. <laughs> what? Get out of there! He's, she's pushing him out of bed, I guess. It looks a little bit weird. <laughs> Snoring. Joey is oversleeping again. When is he gonna wake up? Ryu, should we throw water on him again? That's nice. What? Well, okay, this is really inappropriate now. Sukiden? Sukiden, don't do this. <laughs> Japan? Why you do this? Huh? Oh, ugh. is it morning? How did you guys really think he was a girl? And come on, this is a Japanese made game. You, the boys are pretty and some of them. This happens. Where have you guys been all your lives? Come on. I'm just in awe. Man, look at this party. <laughs> Everyone, did you sleep well? We had a wonderful time. Dinner was wonderful too. We hope you'll come again soon. She seems nice. We'd love to. Okay, let's go. Ryu? Alright. <laughs> There's a kobold here. Hello. Now I believe if you talk to these guys... You can get some items on them. Like I said, there's very little item shopping you can do right now. Remember, on the other side of the map, Ryube and Toto are burned. The mercenary fort is gone. We can't get into Muse. So Coronet is all that's left. In that item store, there isn't very much, if anything. So, that's why I told you maybe you should have a little bit of extra money. Ooh, the belt of strength. Oh, the belt of strength is good. Hmm, I should have gotten more. What else do you have? Leggings, eh? Ricky Maru wants to wear so Why can't he wear these? Hello? Fine. Uh better than Nanami's wooden shoes. It's by one. I'm I'm now I'm just I'm just splitting hairs at this point because you know our party really isn't up to speed. But I I'm pretty sure everyone should have medicine on them. In this place, it's probably a good idea. I really want this belt of strength. Can we give this to Ricky? Because it would be good for him. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, just remind me to take it off later. <laughs> that would be helpful. Can't get another. Alright, and I believe this little lassie has runes. Um. Let's see now. People said that, you know, they. Uh, some people got a little bit weird when I put the double beat rune on Ryu and then the bright shield. The double beat just goes back into your inventory, so it's it's not the biggest deal that ever happened. <laughs> I promise. Uh, Ryu can't wear this right now. Uh, Ricky can. Nanami can wear a second one. She doesn't need it. Um, let's do one on Ricky. Just for God's sake, you guys, remind me to take it off of him. Please. <laughs> Please! Um, you know what? I don't know if I want to do this, to be to be fair. Ugh. What do I do with my life? What does she have? Hmm. You know what? We need a fire rune for sure. We do. So... Yeah, you know what? We can... We can do it. I'm just, I'm, seriously, I'm being a poop about this. I'm like, I hate this party, I don't want to do anything. Let's put a double on Ricky. And I want that fire rune for Nanami. So here's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and sell some things, and hopefully get some money. You there, sir? I've got some nice things to show you. 
I'll sell some things. I was gonna keep them, but, you know, at this point, I really don't give a crap. Why do we have so many antitoxins? How did that happen? What happened there? Ugh, whatever, it's not even worth it. Da -da -da. I'm gonna sell this Gale rune, I don't need it. Get one later. Cream stew! No, I'm keeping that. <laughs> That's important. Here we go. We should have enough now. One fire rune should be all we need. I There's really no chance for me to get a fire ceiling rune for Zamza. I really kind of hope that I would. But we really haven't run across anything that drops it yet. So, there's that. Alright, let's put that on. Who can we put this on? Just Ricky and Nanami. So, let's take off her double beat. Actually, does it replace? I don't want it to go away. <laughs> You know, it's been a long time since I played this. I don't want to risk anything. You guys can tell me. Like I said, I I really want open conversation about this game. Other than plot spoilers. Other than plot spoilers, please. Alright, let's do this. Alright, that looks good. That should be your step. I, gear I recommend you getting a fire rune for somebody. Okay? At this point, even if you have Zamza. Because we don't have a fire ceiling rune and his rune hurts him. So you have to be careful there. What's his deal now? Alex! What happened? What's wrong? Damn! Those city folk. No one believed me. They even called me a liar. Damn! Uh-oh. Alex! We don't need treasure, right? What are you saying, Hilda? This time I've really found the way to the treasure. I want to give you a good life. Not in the backwoods like this. We could open an inn and muse. I've been to muse. They already have one. Excuse me? When you said those city folk, did you mean the citizens of muse? Well, yeah, so what? Um, so does that mean you have an entry permit? Good thinking, Nanami. Yeah, these days you can't get in without an entry permit. <laughs> Everyone knew that but us, apparently. So, um, do you think you could maybe lend it to us? <laughs> Look at Joey. <laughs> He's just done. We need to get into Muse and the guard won't let us in and... Hmm. What? What's he doing? Sir? That looks weird. Okay, I'll make you an offer. You guys help me look for treasure and I'll lend you my entry permit. How about it? Hmm. Well, Ryu was right when he says it sounds dangerous because it is, but we're gonna help. We don't have a choice. Great! We're off to search for treasure! Joey... is done. <laughs> Good. We'll go right away. While we can. What does that mean? Yeah, hmm. I don't think Pilika should come with us. We can't take this little girl. Hilda, will you watch this kid? Maybe she could play with Pete. I don't know, I've heard shit about Pete. I don't know if this is a good idea! <laughs> Pete's known around the block. Oh, that's no problem, but dear, I really wish you wouldn't do this. Don't worry, it'll be fine. That's what they all say, isn't it? Please, be careful. Pilika, be a good girl. Ryu and I will be back soon. Was it the feminine voice that I gave Joey that made you guys think that he was female? Because I didn't mean to, I just I just have a feeling that he would be much more soft-spoken than, than some of the other guys we run across. Okay, now we're ready. The ruins are towards the back of this inn. Let's go. Darling, please be careful. Pilika left, and Alex joins your convoy. And obviously I would recommend that you save here. Um, I would probably recommend that you save on a different save slot, just because. Um, the place that we're going to is, um is dangerous. And honestly, this is probably going to be like a turning point for you in this game, where we're going into a dungeon, it's very mazy, and it's very difficult, and you're thrown with a, a random party. So this, I think this has been a place of rage for a lot of people. Correct me if I'm wrong, have you been to the Sindar Ruins? When you went there the first time, did you find that it was like super ragey and you were like, blah, this game sucks. The enemies in here are going to be like, you know, things that we've never seen before or are used to. 
You gotta do a lot of backtracking and it's dangerous. That's why I said we were gonna have quite a fun time with this party, but I think we might be okay. This is it. Take a look at this relief. Um, well, I see some boobs. Th that's always promising. Joey sees them. He's all about it because Joey is a man. He's not a woman like you guys thought. Is this inscription in Sindarian? Yes, those runes were left by the lost race of the Sindar. Joey's educated, <laughs> unlike us. Wow, Joey, you're so smart. How did you know that? No, it's no big deal. I saw it in one of my books that my father studied. I've been researching this for years. I finally learned the secret of these runes a few days ago. Okay, the secret is boobs. I'm gonna come out and say it right now. The treasure? It's, it could be boobs. This is it. I knew these weren't normal ruins. Wait, you've never been inside before? Oh, great. Listen, there might be monsters in there, so let's go forward cautiously. Okay, when he says there might be monsters in there, what he means is there's gonna be monsters that attack you every five seconds. This is gonna make editing really difficult, but I will try. But I have to talk. So it's very possible that we're gonna see quite a few battles here. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. All right, let's take a look at this door. And there's some inscription right here, it looks like. Which is it? You got it, dude. All right. Here we go. The Sindar Ruins. A place of great <laughs> malaise <laughs> for people. All right. Let's go. Now let's see here. I have to remember the way. I have not played this part of the game in so long. I think I remember. We're going to come up to a fork. And then we're going to go north. I hope. I hope, I hope. Yeah, and then... Oh, you know what? Nope. 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 Oh, I was wrong. Sorry. The thing is, is if you level up to like level 11 or 12, you'll get less encounters in here than you would if you came in right away after you fled the mercenary fort. So it's a good idea to do. At this fork, I think we want to go west and north. I think there's an item up here. Yep, there's two. Mega medicine, I'll take it. Stone of magic. What's that do? Let's take a look. We haven't seen these yet. Uh, oh, here it is. Now, a stone of anything, stone of magic, strength, defense, luck, there's going to be a couple of them you run across through the game. They're permanent attribute raises, okay? One use, so of course use it on Ryu. He's going to be the only one that you ever have all the time, no matter what. Got that? Okay, good. Don't waste it on anyone else. Alright, then we go north, and then we follow the path. There's a lot of items in here they are easily missed. Oh no! Creepers! That's a very nice everything you have there. These guys are annoying. Um, we're gonna see them a lot. <laughs> they just look weird. But we should handle it. If you're level 10 or over, you'll be good. Also, we're probably gonna get a lot of levels in here, which is also good. Even, even at that thing. Even though we leveled up before. Alright path and then I think we go north here I'm sorry I'm gonna have to just pause and think you don't want to run around here too aimlessly because things are gonna attack you terrible things all right follow the path I think we go no 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 nope I've messed it up already you have to be really careful <laughs> When it zooms in like that, like it just did, that means you're getting a critical hit, which is going to deal you more damage. Check that out. Pretty good, right? We're going to see all the runes that we got in the last episode. We're going to check those out, too. Okay, at the... F How did we mess this up already? Like, seriously? Oh, I think... Okay, I think I know what I did wrong. No? South is a dead end. Do 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 da, ba, da, da, da. Uh, no 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 I think I think we did right I think we did good <laughs> Oops that was my phone did you guys hear that Sorry All right we go east 
let's see here. And oh, here we go. This is the item that was south. Angry blow. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Oops. Sorry. Oh, God. Okay, these guys I don't like at all. These are called megawatts. They're nasty. I'm probably going to unite here. And then have everyone else concentrate on one person. That is what I will do. They don't drop anything really good, and they're not too terrible by themselves, but they do have some nasty attacks that can be problematic. Ugh, like that. Laser. Laser beam eyes. I don't, what is that? No, thank you. Now you'll notice the double beats, what they're doing. Ricky Maru is uh, attacking more than once. He'll attack, then jump back to his point, and then attack again. That's what double beat does. If you already had the chance for a double attack without the double beat, you could go quadruple times. I think I already explained that, but just in case I didn't. Now, if you get countered when you're wearing a double beat rune, your damage will be doubled. That's the only drawback of it, but uh, counters happen really rarely in this, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, let us let me think. I think we go across here. Yep, and then we go north. There's an item up here. Gauntlet. Good item. We're going to be stopping and like rearranging things as we go. This is where it's going to start to get tricky with our with our inventory. We could give one more protection to Ryu, which isn't, you know, the, the best that ever happened. Zamza. Ricky is fine. Remember, too, like I said, you want to have some medicine on people. It's important. Really? No one can use this? Uh, Nana can. And then... The leggings? Is this exciting? Now oh, we're good. You might have to start dropping stuff by the time you get out of here, but, you know, do what you need to do. Alright, go this way, this way, and this way, I believe. Under the bridge. And then we're gonna go to the next screen. Uh, da -da -da -da. What's this thing? That looks interesting. Which is it? We don't have the part for this yet. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. It looks like something's supposed to be stuck into this depressed area. Maybe we should cheer it up. Oh, that was... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Alright, let's go this way. I believe we just follow the path here, and here we have six statues. This is what you want. See this one? Push it. Real good. Okay. Two things in here. Shoulder pads, because this is the 80s, and... Good. If we use this... Round plate! Alright. Well done. Alright. We're getting on time. This place is long. There's boobs. Will we get out? Hopefully. <laughs> I don't have a map. I'm just doing this on <laughs> pure, crappy, old person memory. In the next episode, we'll keep going through the Sindar Ruins. See you later, guys.